Notion has been my go-to productivity app for the last five years and I use it every single day. I use it for tracking what I'm learning, running my businesses and organizing my entire life. So I was stoked when the team at Notion reached out and wanted to partner up and sponsor this video after recently releasing Notion AI and Notion Projects, two features that have made my productivity systems way faster and easier. I'm gonna show you guys the exact workflow and system that I've been using to get more work done and learn faster than ever before. As a bonus, I'm giving away the exact workspace template that I use for free because I know it can be hard getting started and I want all of you to feel organized and to succeed in whatever it is you're doing. All I ask in return is that you check out Notion using the link below in the description and watch this entire video to the end. But just before we jump into my Notion workspace, I want to talk through some of the principles and psychology behind this productivity system. We have a limited amount of time in our lives. It's a finite resource and I want any time that I spend to be intentional and spend on things that will help me to grow, move me towards my goals or that I just find fun. For me, productivity is really all about finding those things we want to achieve, our kind of vision for ourselves, and then building systems that make it as easy as possible for us to execute and complete those small daily tasks that compound over time to help us achieve those goals. It's a function of managing our time, being deliberate with how we spend that time, and being organized so that we always know what we need to do and nothing feels too overwhelming. We also need to capture information as we research how to achieve those goals. So as well as type project management, our system also needs to act as a second brain and store information that can help us to execute successfully. Our productivity system needs to adapt with us as more tasks and ideas come and we need to integrate them into our workflow to stay organized. And the best part is with Notion, setting a vision and turning this into projects and capturing information is made really easy. So let's dive into my Notion workspace for productivity. This is the dashboard. I've tried to make it as minimalist and as simple to use as possible because we want our system to be easy to pick up and not too complicated. Notion has some amazing templates which can be found on their website and I've built this template up over a number of years by using some of the best parts of hundreds of free templates that I've tried out as well as things that just seem intuitive to me. Down the left hand side we can see the sidebar menu with links to the different dashboards that are included in the template. These are grouped together into vision, organize, execute and learn based on the principles we've just mentioned. In vision, we can set our main life goals, organize is about building daily habits and organizing our time, and execute is all about project management, and then learn is where information is captured and stored. On the main dashboard, we also have quick links to our daily planner, which we'll see in detail a little bit later on. We then have tasks where all of our tasks will automatically update and appear every single day, and we can update the status of tasks as we complete them, like this one here, which I've done, and I can also assign a task to another member of my my team, which we'll look at in a little bit too. Scrolling down, we then have our short-term and long-term goals. And on the right, we've got a daily motivational quote widget to keep us focused and time and calendar widgets, as I often get so lost in work that I forget which day it is. Okay, so let's jump over to the vision section next, starting with goals. The goals dashboard in the vision section allows you to set 12 months long-term goals and then three months short-term goals. 12-month goals are all about where you want to be and who you want to be in 12 months time. For example, you might want to save up and buy a new house. You might want to get a new job. You might want to run a marathon. Or if you're running a business like I am, you might want to set a big revenue target that you then want to hit. These don't have to be particularly practical. They're just things that you really want to achieve over a period of time. And you're setting yourself a deadline of 12 months or three months, depending on how achievable you feel they are. This is really the top of our top-down planning in our productivity template. And we'll see that this is then broken down into projects to help us hit these goals and achieve them within those timelines. Next up in the vision section, we've got our vision board. I'm a huge fan of visualizing success and actually thinking and feeling like we've already achieved something, even if it seems completely out of our grasp. This is a really strong mental model where by actually believing that you can do something and you've already in fact achieved something, you're more likely to then go on and actually accomplish it. It's the same as sports psychology and when basketball players visualize shooting that winning three-pointer at the end of the game. And here, you can add anything you like. You might have a picture of a house you want to buy, it might be a car, it might be your new girlfriend or boyfriend, or absolutely anything you want to put down here and just really think and visualize and go back to this section of the template. Next up, we've got the project section. Projects are an awesome new feature to Notion that turns Notion into a really strong project management tool. Projects are great, 
because they allow us to break down those big goals in our vision section into more manageable bite-sized chunks, which can then be turned into tasks, delegated to other people, and actually quantified and made much more practical. So what I've done here in the template is we've got a Kaban board view, and we've got projects that are in the research phase, projects that are in progress, and projects that have been done. And we've also got a hidden view, which is projects that are archived when we want to move them out of that done section. We can also switch over into a gallery view if we want and really visualize those projects in turn and a timeline view for when we set deadlines and we can easily see when tasks are due. Now if we click on one of the projects that we've put in we can see that there are a couple of really nice tags and features here that can help us be more productive. So first up and quite obviously we want to set a deadline for any of our projects. By setting a deadline it makes us more likely to actually complete a task and put some emphasis that we need to get work done by a set date. We can then also see the sprints and tasks that are part of this project and we've got a really nice progress bar that shows up both on the cards and in the projects when you click on them. The projects can also have a priority set and be tagged to certain functions. So for example, in this project, which is all about content marketing, it's been tagged as marketing as part of a function of growing my business. Now you can absolutely use this template for solo use and hitting all of your personal goals, but I found it's most powerful when it's used in Teams mode. I can actually assign projects to an owner, which might be a member of my team. So for example, in this particular project, I might assign it to our head of marketing, who then is responsible for delegating delegating other tasks and reporting back and making sure that that deadline is hit. For me, as someone running a business, I can then jump into this template, check that the project is on task, and if it's not, I can check in with the head of marketing to see if there's anything that I can do to help. At the bottom of each of the projects, we can see all of the tasks associated with that project, and we can also add more tasks if we want. As soon as the project's completed, we can move it to the done column and feel really satisfied that we've nailed it before the deadline. Next up in the execute section is something called sprints. Now a sprint is basically a quantifiable period of time where we're working towards a particular goal. Imagine if we just had projects and then tasks, those projects might be really, really long and strung out. And if we don't have a regular set period to work towards, it can get quite confusing and disorganized. And a sprint for me is typically around four to six weeks of focused work towards a particular project. You might have a couple of sprints within a project to actually achieve it. And within each sprint, you've got a number of tasks associated with it. So you can just think about it like grouping things together so that you can work in a focused period of time and bulk everything together to make you as productive as possible so that you're doing similar tasks in your work sessions. Sprints also really help us to focus. You'll see in the template that we've got one current sprint and then any future sprints that we can put into a backlog. The current sprint is the thing that we're prioritizing the most and it's our main focus of work. Once we've achieved that sprint and only then do we move on to any future sprints and any other tasks to move that project forward. So for example, in this particular current sprint, we've got our blog sprint where we're doing certain tasks around creating blogs for this current month. In a future sprint, we might create blog posts for the next month and so on so that we've got things organized and focused. Sprints waterfall down from projects and are themselves populated with tasks. And we can see that some tasks in the sprint are in the planning phase, some are in progress, some are done, and again, some are archived. And this then brings us to the task section of the template. Tasks in the execute section are really bottom up things that we need to achieve by a set time frame. They're part of sprints, which in turn are part of projects. And you can see you can add a task to any project or sprint at any time as it comes up. So for example, here, we might want to add another task into our content marketing sprint and assign that to somebody in the team or to ourselves. We can then set a due date as we can do for projects and we can set a priority, either low, medium or high, which helps us to think about how much we need to focus on something and how important it is to hit our goals. Now, one extra thing I find really useful with tasks is then also having a section called value. And in value, you can set a numerical indicator of two, four, eight, or 16, which then forces you to think just how valuable a particular task is towards the goal you're working on. If something is only considered to be a two, maybe it's not actually that important and you can deprioritize it. Whereas if something's a 16, you absolutely need to focus on it now in order to move your goal forward. The reason it goes up exponentially is to force you to think just how important and valuable something is. If we click on a task, we can also add a subtask and as soon as something is completed, we can move it to the done section and then that moves the progress bar up on both our sprint 
and our overall project, which is just super, super satisfying. Okay, so now we've broken down our vision into our projects and into sprints and then into tasks. We want a way to look at our monthly, weekly, and daily views to know exactly what we need to be doing and to help us form habits so that we can get our work done. And this is where Organize comes in. So starting off with a monthly view, we can see that this is filtered so we're only seeing the tasks and sprints that are due this month. This helps us to focus on what needs to be done this month. And what I'll typically do here is at the beginning of the month, look ahead and see what needs to be achieved. And I'll often just come back to this view to see how we're doing through the month. At the bottom of the monthly view, we also have a section where we can add in anything else outside of our main projects and vision. This might be things like people's birthdays. It might be personal things where you're going out or anything just to kind of organize our daily lives. Things like going to the gym regularly would fit in really nicely here too. And it just helps us to plan our month before we then waterfall down to the next dashboard view, which is our weekly planner. So in our weekly planner, we can click one of the buttons in Notion, which generates a new week for us. And in that week, typically for me on a Sunday, I'll plan out all of the key things that I need to do. This is a little bit outside of our projects and tasks and is more about habit formation. So for example, I might put down that I'm gonna do 30 minutes of hit every single morning for a week, or maybe I want to go out with friends in the evening, or I want to grab a coffee on a Wednesday. These are the types of things that I can put into the weekly view that will help me plan things out. I'm also a big fan of setting a weekly focus, one big goal to achieve that week. And this is where I'll often reflect back to my project or my sprints and think about the one thing that's gonna move me forward the most and add this in in the weekly section. Now we've organized our month and then our week and I'll always organize my day the night before. And this is where I will use a very specific template within my daily agenda view. So if I jump into my view, I can add a new day and then my template will pop up. My template is based on coaching and journaling principles and asks me to think about three things that I'm grateful for in the morning, one goal that I'm gonna focus on to achieve that day, and then breaking that goal down into three smaller bite-sized chunks. At the end of the day, it then asks me to think about three things I've achieved and I'm grateful for. There's also a daily planner where I can do things like assign meetings at a set period of time or time block things out during the day for deep focused work. And on the right-hand side, I can jump in and just jot down any notes when I'm actually working through this. And sometimes I'll keep this section open on my iPad during the day when I'm working and just add in little things and use it as a bit of a way to see what I'm doing and what I need to do to make that day a success. This section is really cool because it acts sort of like a journal and it will automatically save all of your entries. And I often like looking back through some of the things that I've journaled and achieved over the last few months in the daily task area as it gives me a really big motivational boost to continue doing those little daily habits that compound over time. Now the learn section of the template is one of my favorites as it's really practical and helps me build up a second brain and knowledge database so that I don't lose track of anything I'm doing. And if I see something that interests me during the day pretty serendipitously, I can just capture that and store it into my dashboard and then it's not lost and I don't spend any time trying to find it again in the future. So in the quick capture area of notes, I can hit the new button and then enter anything I want using a note template. But one of my favorite things to do is actually to use the Save to Notion Chrome extension. And if I'm browsing the web and researching a project, or maybe I'm just reading through something and find something interesting, I can save it directly into this quick capture area. I can then come back and review that quick capture later on and even turn it into a task or link it to something in a project. If your goal and vision is to do something like get into medical school and you need to prepare for that medical school interview, this is the exact spot where you can capture any information as you research through the different medical schools and what medical school interviews are like. So it might be you're watching a YouTube video on how to get into medical school and then you can use Save to Notion to capture it here and come back to it later. The final section of the template is also in the learn area, and this is called read. This is where I capture all of the information I've read from books and can come back to it to reread it and find key information. Now, one of the coolest things here is I've also integrated Notion's AI tools to help me summarize books and get ahead and retain information for longer. As I come across any book recommendation, I'll put it directly into this book section and tag it by category and add in the author and often the number of pages so that I've got an idea about how much effort it's gonna to take to actually read through that book. What I'll then do is, is split things up into what I'm currently reading, what I've read, and what I intend to read in the future. There's a really nice feature where it shows me the progress through a book based on my current page and the total number of pages in the book itself.
off. This is great for me as I'll often jump in and read multiple books at once, especially if I'm doing things like researching something or I'm reading business books where I'll just want to jump into a specific chapter, extract the information and then move on. Now, one of the coolest things about Notion is you can actually add in a column and a category called Summary AI. And what I've done here is I've created my own prompt that actually summarizes the book based on its title and gives me the key learning points that I can then turn into practical implementation steps and that I can use in my day-to-day -day life. I used to do this myself using my book template, but Notion's AI tools have massively reduced the time it takes for me to summarize the key points in a book and have automated all of this for me, which is just absolutely awesome. Okay, so that was my run through of my life command center that I use to be as productive as possible and intentional in my day-to-day -day life. I plan things from my big vision and goals, waterfalling all the way down into projects, and then building daily habits by using the organized section and quick capturing everything that I interact with to come back to at a later stage. I hope you really find it useful. There's a link to the exact template that I use in the comments below so you can try it out for yourself. And if you want to find out more about how to be productive and use AI tools like you've seen in this Notion video, I've put up a great video over here about how you can engineer prompts, which you can then put into Notion to make you even more productive and save you tons and tons of time. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Do hit that subscribe button and check out Notion via the link and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.